now coming towards the characters of the short story there are mainly three characters said razia and the girl in the burqa but i have also added another one in the middle of all these three that is other of roses because the smell of other has some kind of significance near said basically and then of course it does mean something to girl in burqa as well and in the end in the closing lines razia is also affected by it so it has also something to add to the story so it can be taken as a character as well now characters are of different types you know characters in a short story play or a novel or even a film can be other either round or flat a round character is well thought it is well structured and it has a some kind of a map to read somewhere these characters usually play an important role in the story they are very well written with specific instructions and they have such features and elements with them th- that they can actually um, direct the audiences to pay attention to them for a specific reason flat characters at the other hand are more like window dressing they are two dimensional and they do not have versatility their purpose in a story is usually non significant now a round character is deep and it has a number of layers to it these characters are interesting to audiences because they feel like real people the audience often feel very much invested in such characters and they also feel somehow involved in the you know successes failures strengths and weaknesses of such characters and as compared to this flat characters are two dimensional and they are with very few instru- instructions and interesting facts about them they are also usually considered stock characters and uh, they have they don't evolve they do not add to the story as much as a round character well now we are going to talk about the character the main character of this story that is said uh, through the textual evidence we have gathered some information that is said is a school master and he is related to urdu literature he likes to read time and again we can see him very much interested in the magazines and um, he's a middle class man and he's married with kids he's self reflective and this self reflectiveness has been seen in his character quite a few times for example in the text he is waiting for his wife to open the door but he has forgotten to bring the fruits and i am going to read it from the text while said stood outside his house waiting for his wife to open the door he suddenly remembered that he had forgotten to buy the mangoes it was his custom to bring home some fruit every day the children would be disappointed and he would have to make up some excuse to his wife for not having any fruit with him today he heard her struggling with the latch on the door side on the other side of the door and the words leaped out of his mouth before the door was fully ajar the mangoes didn't look but today i'm sure they weren't right i did, did not buy any so he's self reflective he is a considerate man he is not just thinking about what 
his wife is going to say he also says that the children would be disappointed so he's a good father as well so that is one of his very good characteristics that is seen in the text and then there is another scene where he is actually chasing the girl in the boka and he talks to himself he kinds of you know gets into a monologue where he he thinks what what is he doing he feels improper he feels like an animal that is also self reflective and a good character prestic of a good man apart from this uh said is simple he has simple agendas in life is just once in a blue moon that he felt the urge to follow a girl in burka he felt the urge to know her more about more about her so and again in one of the classes where he was teaching his uh, class 10 and he was teaching ikbal's poetry he was lost in the thought he he could actually relate it to what ikbal wanted to say in those lines so that is all about his character and obviously there are more textual references in the text uh, that can be easily identified by you guys now coming towards another character which is very important although this character is in the shadow and not in the front it's not doing something very significant in the story but in the back end of the story she is the driving force for the main character to do certain things now this character is razia she is the wife of the main character said she is a mother and she is a pure homemaker she is all concerned about her husband and her children all the time and she is somewhat shown obedient a kind of a wife that every pakistani or asian man would ask for right and she is struggling financially emotionally in short from in every and any aspect with said her character is not very much developed she is not a round character she is a flat one right but in the instances of the text we can see time and again say they is talking about her or thinking about her for example in one example or one instance say looks at his wife that is razia she is simple her hands are you know rough she is not wearing any kind of jewelry she looks tired and overburdened and somehow say this is not okay with it that is why he is able to identify or you know even think about these things then in the very last scene where i'm going to read it from the text razia had made lamb curry said could smell the aroma of meat cooked in spices steamed with fresh springs of coriander he heard her on the door he heard her on the other side of the door fiddling with the latch when she opened the door he thrust a package into her hands what is this she asked where is the fruit she followed him into the bedroom now the fact that she is not interested in the package but in the fruit says that or depicts that she is a simple woman who is actually waiting for her daily routine to be you know completed she is waiting for the fruits and she is not interested she is not even curious that what that package could hold 
Silently, he took the package from her hand and emptied it on the bed. A pair of shiny black sandals with thin leather strap, a set of black glass bangles spilling out of their white tissue paper, wrapping with the musical jungle and a tiny pot. Gingerly, Razia picked up the bottle. Atar of roses, she said, looking at him incredulously. So her character is simple. She's not even she she's not seen excited, or the writer has not given any details whether she was excited, happy. I mean, the word gingerly has been used, but we cannot see the enthusiasm in her. So that is all about her character. Okay, the third most important character of the story is the girl in the burqa. She has not been named or specifically identified, but through the description written about her, she has been described as a breathtaking beauty. She is beautiful and she's wearing a lot of roses. She's seemingly also belonging to the middle class the said is interested in her in the very first instance where she has been mentioned the beautiful description is given now i'm going to read it from the text but what was that something tugged as his attention got grabbed a scent flooded in a thud of roses yes strong potent a thud of roses sai told himself an exciting aroma easily recognizable he glanced sideways to his right was a woman clad in a black burqa that covered her from the top of her head to her ankles she was so close to him that if he stretched out his hand he could have touched the stainy black linen of her covering with her back to him she riffled through a pile of magazines as she moved his gaze fell upon her hands never had he seen hands of such extraordinary beauty the skin was pale and unlined the color a purely shade of jasmine the fingers slender the nails neatly rounded and pink and the little he saw of the wrist was encased in black glass bangles that made a silvery tinkling sound every time she moved her arm on the back of her hand the thin blue veins were like delicate shadows across the face of a rose petal he had not seen such a hand before how yielding to the touch he thought the clasp the clasp like a promise of love and then as his eyes followed her slim form down to where the burqa ended at the level of her ankles he saw her feet wrapped in dark sandals with narrow leather bands they were like the moon at midnight gray clouds rolling in thin strips across a disk of gold now as you can see the description is rich and the author has introduced her with the smell of other roses so she is important definitely she is important and the beauty and the description is extensive right so this is her character and the main character said is time and again thinking about her and he actually follows her to her house too so she is an important character in the story because without her story could not have been made 
now these are the characters that we have discussed and you can read the text time and again and come up with more textual references more interpretations and more clearer understandings right now coming towards some of the important questions first of all obviously the significance of the title author of roses how it is important to say how the author of the story tahira nakwi has introduced another character that is the burka girl with the smell of roses so and in the end of course in the last scene how razia reacts to author of roses so all of these things can be jotted down together and there can be a very interesting interpretation of it then there are character sketches i have talked about them briefly you can talk about them you know in detail with textual references then there are themes that we have discussed and there are more themes as well and there are more textual references as well then there is the role of desire in said's character desire is very important in this short story right and desire is very important in english literature as well so you can relate it to his character and the feeling the emotion of desire in general as well then there is this descriptive nature of the entire short story the description given for the characters the description given for the burka girl and everything else how beautifully that is written and obviously when there is description given the emphasis is also there so the author tahira nakwi has tried to you know give plenty of uh, you know focus on the beauty of the characters the things those characters might be feeling the things those characters are doing so these descriptive nature of the story or the language usage is also very important so this is all about this story